Good morning, kids. Welcome to this week's Sunday School story. Uh, glad to be able to bring you another story this week. Uh, so this week we're going to be talking about the Easter story. And there are several Bible passages to go with this one. So have your parents go ahead and take a look at the email and they can let you know what passages to open up to. So today we get to talk about the greatest story. This is like all the other stories we tell in Sunday School. It comes from the Bible, which means it's 100% true. So coming up shortly is Easter, and you may see the Easter bunny or go on an Easter egg hunt, and those things are great and they're fun, but we also want to make sure we remember the true reason for Easter, the reason we celebrate Easter, which is Jesus Christ's death and resurrection, and that's what we want to focus on for our story this morning. All right, so we're going to start off, and we're going to start off with these eggs to help us represent the story. So... This egg reminds us of Jesus' triumphal entry into the city of Jerusalem. One day, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Crowds met Jesus as he rode into Jerusalem. They laid their coats on the road, and they cut down branches nearby from trees and laid them on the ground for Jesus to walk on. As Jesus rode along on his path prepared for him, the crowds went before Jesus and followed him, shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We celebrate and remember this event on Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is the Sunday before Easter. So this means that today is Palm Sunday. So our next egg we're going to look at. Um, in it we will let's open it up and see what we've got in the egg. We've got some coins here, and um, like we saw in our last one, there were many of the crowds that really liked Jesus. They wanted to spend time with Jesus, but sadly, and they wanted to praise him, but sadly there were others who hated Jesus, those who wanted to um, kill Jesus. They didn't want Jesus around. They didn't like what he was preaching. So shortly after Jesus' triumphant entry, one of his disciples named Judas Iscariot did something really horrible, something really sad. He went to the chief priests and he asked them, how much will you pay me to deliver Jesus to you? The chief priests, they gave uh, Judas 30 pieces of silver to betray Jesus. And the Bible tells us that from that point on, that Judas was looking for an opportunity to betray Jesus. All right, our next egg. What's in there? cup inside of an egg. Well, one night, Jesus gathered his with his 12 disciples. These men were Jesus' closest friends and followers. They were celebrating a special Jewish feast. Can anyone guess what that's called? It's called the Passover. During this dinner, Jesus introduced something special to the disciples that we still do today. Do you know what that is? We do about once a month in church. It's called the Lord's Supper or Communion. He took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples. Jesus told them that the bread represents his body and that the wine was his blood and that his body would be broken for him. And he blessed both and gave it to the disciples to eat and drink. So he shed, excuse me, the wine was there to represent his blood that he shed for us to forgive us of our sins. He commanded them to continue to do this in remembrance of him. This is why we celebrate the Lord's Supper still to this day. So let's see what's in our next egg. Da, da, da. So we have some uh, praying hands here. So after uh, Jesus and his disciples finished the Passover dinner, they went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. In the garden, Jesus spent time praying and talking with his heavenly father. He was talking with him about the horrible things he was going to have to suffer and how he was having to go through an experience. God the Father sent an angel to help comfort and strengthen Jesus. All right. Let's see what's in our next egg. <gasps> we get two eggs. That's right. right. Green and the yellow. We have a whip and a crown of thorns. So, while Jesus and the disciples were still in the garden, 
Judas, the one that betrayed Jesus, and a great crowd came, and Judas betrayed Jesus. The soldiers then arrested Jesus and took him away. Many horrible things were done to Jesus. Jesus suffered a lot. He was put on trial, but it wasn't a good or fair trial. They put a crown of thorns on Jesus' head and beat him. These things, the whip and the crown of thorns, remind us of all the suffering Jesus chose to suffer to forgive us of our sins. So let's see what's in our next egg. So we have a cross here. We have a cross made out of nails. So the cross reminds us of how Jesus died. Each person, each human has sinned. And we see in the Bible that the punishment for this sin is death. Well, however, we have amazing news. Jesus lived a perfect life, and then he was nailed to a cross. That's why we have the cross and we have nails. And he died for our sins. He took our punishment and died in our place. While Jesus... Oh, wait. We need to see what's in the next egg. Actually, the next two eggs. Excuse me. I almost gave it away. So we have some dice, or die. And we have a spear. All right. While Jesus was on the cross, the soldiers did something called casting lots to find out who would get Jesus' clothing. This is kind of like rolling dice. That's why we had the die. Jesus was crucified with two robbers. When the soldiers came to check if the three men were dead, Jesus was already dead. However, one of the soldiers used a spear. That's why we had the spear. Just to make sure. These things were done to fulfill what had been prophesied in the Old Testament. This is a sad story, but a true one. It is sad to think that Jesus died and that he died in such a cruel way. But remember, Jesus gave up his life. And since he is God, he could have... I'm sorry, excuse me. But remember that Jesus gave up his life since he is God. He could have stopped this at any point. Remember, God is all powerful. Because of Jesus' great love for sinners, for all sinners, he chose to give his life for us. This includes you and I and every person that has sinned except for Jesus because he is the one true and pure person. Let's go ahead and see what's in our next one. So we've got a linen cloth here. So after Jesus died, a man named Joseph got permission to bury Jesus. He took Jesus' body, he prepared it, he wrapped it in a linen cloth, and prepared according to the customs for the Jewish people at the time. And then he buried him in a tomb. The tomb that he buried Jesus in was similar to like a sh shallow cave. Um, Joseph then went away. He was sad because Jesus was dead. He wondered what would happen next. All right. Getting towards the end. Can you guys guess what's in this second to last one? Da, da, da. It's a stone. All right. This stone reminds us of the great big stone that was rolled in front of Jesus' tomb. Soldiers guarded the tomb. Three days later, something amazing happened. You guys know? Go ahead and shout it, shout it out. Jesus rose. Angels came. And at the sight of them, the soldiers that were there were afraid and fainted. The stone was rolled away and the tomb was opened. All right. Our last little egg. Let's see what's in our last egg. Nothing. <laughs> All right. So this last egg is empty because when the stone was rolled away from the tomb, the tomb was empty. Some women who came and put perfume on Jesus' body, they and also some of the disciples that, who later came, they all found that the tomb was empty. Do you know why the tomb was empty? So the tomb was empty because Jesus had risen. Jesus was no longer in the tomb. He had risen from the dead. So the angel also appeared to the women and told them that Jesus, whom they were seeking in the tomb, that he had risen and to not be afraid. After this, Jesus appeared to many people, and then many days later he went back to heaven, which is where he is now, in heaven with God the Father, 
and he is alive today in heaven. Because of what Jesus did, we can be forgiven of our sins. Jesus took the punishment. He took our place. This is what we are talking about in our gospel hand. When we talk about that God loves us, he loves each of us, but that we have each sinned, but that Jesus died in our place and rose again. And if we believe in Jesus, we will go to heaven as well. All we need to do is admit we have sinned and talk to God about these sins. Believe in Christ and confess and say that we believe that Jesus is the Son of God and put our belief and trust in him. If this is something you want to know more about, I would encourage you to talk to your parents about it. But yeah, that's our story for Easter. That's our story that um, is all about the gospel, and what the, which is what we do. What, the reason we do our gospel hand is to remind us of that story and of what Jesus did. I think we should do the gospel hand. All right, so I'll go ahead and lead. So it starts off. God loves me. I have sinned. Christ died for me. If I believe, I will go to heaven. And that is such an important thing to think about and pray about and ask people about. We're happy to answer questions. Your parents will be excited to hear from you if you have questions, siblings, or go ahead and read it in your Bible. Just make sure that you're getting those answers questions and you're praying to God about it. If you're not certain or you have certain things you want to ask, pray about it. All right, and with that, I'm going to do a closing prayer. So go ahead and fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear Lord, we just want to thank you for the great sacrifice you have given us, this wonderful free gift that is ours if only we ask you to forgive us and admit that you are our Lord and that you have all power over us and everything in our lives. I pray for our kids as they're hearing this lesson that they would be thinking and praying towards you and that we'd be able to focus on you during this scary time with the virus. I pray in your name and through your blood. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to um, look at your email, ask your parents about the parent letter, the verse, the coloring pages, and we hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.